Hello and welcome to Down the Vent. My name's Joe. I'm Emily. And today we're playing Marvel Villainous Infinite Power. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so here we have the game set up for two players. Uh, if you've played Disney Villainous, it's pretty similar, but there are some very notable differences, so you'll want to stick around to make sure you hear all the rules as we go through them. Uh, the main thing, when you set up in Disney Villainous, you start on the first location on the left. In Marvel Villainous, you actually start on your portrait, making all four locations available on your first turn. Uh, the other thing you'll want to note is that there is a shared fate deck. So to build the fate deck, there's a bunch of neutral fate cards, and then um, each villain has their own set of fate cards as well that you're going to add. So Thanos' fate cards and Taskmaster's fate cards are also included in there. You shuffle them all up, you make one lovely pile of heroes and bad stuff for us. Um, other, once you get those set up, you're going to each take your, your uh, villain's deck. So I have the, the Thanos deck. It's all my only my cards. They all look the same on the back. Very easy to find. Taskmaster um, over there has all their cards as well. The next thing you'll want to give each player is the villain guide. This will give you tip and tips and tricks on how to play your character and what you're trying to do to win. So, what are we trying to do to win? Each villain is different. I have Thanos, so my objective is to collect the six infinity stones. Now, um, these are special. They are only put in the game if someone is playing Thanos, um, and they do have their, their own extra set of rules in the back of the book. There's like a whole page explaining what you can do with them and how they work. We'll go over them as we encounter them throughout the game. But my, excuse me, my goal is to get these Infinity Stones out into the, the world and then bring them back to my domain and throw them in my gauntlet. Once I have them in my gauntlet, I win. Oh, just like that. Just like that. Um, Emily's villain, go ahead. I'm Taskmaster, and my goal is to have an ally at each location, so four total at least, and to be at five power. Yes, so she has to have four allies at five um, strength each yep. at four different locations. So, as she said, she has to have one at every location, um, but they all have to be strong. <laughs> but Taskmaster has tons of tricks and stuff and items in his deck to uh, make that happen. So on your turn, it's pretty simple. You, you take your mover and you move them to one of the four locations on your board. So like I can move to the infinity well. Um, if you're already at a location, you have to move to a different one. You cannot stay at that location unless you have some card that allows you to, like um, I believe Hades did in Marvel Villainous. But um, anyways, so that's what you can do on your turn. You move and then you take all the actions at a location. Um, and we'll cover the actions as we get to them. But essentially, as you can see here, there's four actions usually at each location and um, you can take them in any order that you want. Um, so uh, the, the last note is that we are playing on easier mode instead of hard mode, so or, or normal mode. Um, easier mode does remove events from the deck. Um, this is something new that was not in uh, Disney Villainous as well. These events come out and they affect everyone. So this one is called Avengers Assemble. And while it's out, uh, the current villain must draw uh, a card from the fate deck and play it on themselves at the beginning of every turn you have to do that Ugh. so it makes the game much more difficult and it and um, the villains can actually band together to defeat it so all the events will have a number at the bottom left there that's how much strength of allies you have to have on the event to defeat the event so this one would take 10 strength that's quite a few allies <laughs> um, but uh, but again we're not playing with those because it, it does get make the game go a little bit longer and it makes it a game more difficult which is great for people who want to get into a more thinkier version of the game um, but we're trying to just give like a basic example of how it plays, and those can uh, slow us down and make it more difficult. So, um, but those those are in the game just by default. Um, but we just took them out for our playthrough. Uh, last thing you know is you draw up to four cards. Start your to at the beginning of the game, and at the end of every turn you'll draw back up to four. And I believe we set it so I'm going first. Yep. Since I'm going first, Emily is going second and gets to take one power. And power is like the currency of the game. Very good to have. So, on my first turn, I'm going to move to the Infinity Well, and then I'll go over what the actions at the Infinity Well do. So I am going to this location, and as you can see, there are, like I said, four actions there. This one right here is the action to take power. Um, when you take power, you just take however many are in the, the middle of the, the icon, so I will get three. And then these actions are to play a card. You can play one card per action, so this board will let me play two cards. Um, and then this action is to discard cards. So 
Uh, at the end of your turn, you can't normally discard cards. That action would let me discard as many as many cards as I wanted for my hand, and then at the end of your turn, you draw back up to four. So I took my three power. Now I can play two cards if I'd like. Move this over there. So the first one I'm going to play is Consult the Well. So this one's special for... Oh, no, 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 no. The first one I'm going to play costs one. Jeez, i got to remember to do these in the right order. And it's the Legion of Thanos. So this is an ally card. The cost of every card is in the top left corner, so that's how much power you need to be able to play it. And then the bottom left, if it's an ally, that's their strength. And then their name's right here, and if they have a special ability, it'll say it right there. These ones do not have a special ability. And then at the bottom of every card, it does tell you what kind of card it is, so you can see which, which ones are allies or which ones are effects. Or items. Or items. Yeah, those are the three cards. Um, so this is an ally, or, or specialty. There's specialty cards in this one now, which is new, but there's no condition cards that was in v Disney Villainous. So those are gone, but specialty were added. So this is an ally. I can play him to any location in my domain. Your domain is your board. So I'm just going to play him to Titan. Now I can play a second card. I'm going to play Consult the Well. It says, choose another player. That'll be Emily. That player receives a random unclaimed Infinity Stone. So... What happens with Infinity Stones, the only way they're going to get out is by either me playing cards to give them to other players, or by the Fate deck putting them out um, as well. So Emily gets to choose one randomly from the pile, and then <clears throat> when someone gets a Fate Stone, or an Infinity Stone, they must attach it to an ally. Emily doesn't have any allies in her, in her uh, domain yet. So what she can do then is play an ally from her hand for free to hold the Infinity Stone. If she doesn't have any allies in her hand either, she would actually get to reveal cards from her deck until she found an ally and then attach it to that ally and put it out into her domain for free. So, Emily, do you have an ally? I do. I've got crossbones. So? So I'm, he's my ally. I'm going to put him, let's go at the armory. And I will attach the stone to him. Yes, yeah, so now Crossbones is holding the space, space stone. stone. Ah, oh, yes, and I forgot to mention. So this space stone, when it's in another um, person's area, is an item that they can use, just like any of their other items. So this has an activate ability that will now Emily can use if she takes an activate action. And they're usually really good. So it's bad for me to put these stones out into other people's domains, but... That's the only way I can actually go and claim them. So she has the infinity, the uh, space stone, and now I need to get it from her. So the bottom part of Consult the Well says, once played, I may relocate an ally to that location for free. Oh. And relocate is another action you can take. Uh, usually it looks like that. Um, on the, or It always looks like that when you take the action, but this one lets me do it for free. And when you relocate, you can either move items or allies around your domain. Uh, Thanos' special ability allows him to move them to other players' domains. Um, you can also move them between your domain and events if there are events out, but no events, like we said. So I will just... Whoop, that's not that card. So I will move the Legion of Thanos over here, and just like a hero in Disney Villainous, they will actually cover up the top two actions at Emily's Armory, making it more difficult... or it, re reducing the amount of actions she has there now. So it's actually removed two actions from her board, so if she goes there now, she can't do as much as she could before. Um, I can discard cards if I'd like now. I'm going to discard this one. And I'm going to draw back up to four and hope I get something good. Okay, I am done. Okay. I'm going to move over to the training room. I'm going to grab my three power. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to play, and I've got this item, which is a training dummy. And it places plus one strength if I use it as an activate. Yep, so this is an item. She can put it to any of her four locations in her domain, and it gives her an activate ability that will strengthen her allies. Which is important when I'm trying to get them up to a five strength. Yes. So I'm just... Well... I'm going to actually put the training dummy over here, even though Crossbone's there. He's already at a three, so... Okay. I might not need to do that. And then I don't have another card I want to play. Um, so I'm going to use the discard as my last action and discard the, my last cards. Okay. Oh, I need to pay for the dummy. Yeah, you got to pay for that. Okay. All right, so you get to draw back up yep. to four. I didn't get what I needed. I'm, I'm sad. <laughs> um, all right, I'm going to come to Sanctuary 2. My first action there is to take two power. So I will take two power. Um, I can play a card here as well, so I will pay one, 
to play Warp Reality, and this is an effect, see it says effect here, and the cost is one up there in the top left, and then for effect cards you just do what they say, and then they get discarded. So this one says, search my discard pile for an effect card and put it into my hand. Um, I'm going to take the Consult the Well card back, which is, I play on the first turn, which helps me put Infinity Stones out into play. Um, and then I can activate a card, so um, the other action I have is this activate action here, but I don't have any cards in my domain that I can activate, so that's unfortunately not an action I can take right now. Um, and I can discard, so I think I may discard two cards here, and then that's the end of my turn, so I'm going to draw back up. Ooh, there's a good card. There we go. Alright, now it's back to Emily. And just so you, just to know, um, my allies in Emily's domains can be vanquished by her allies just like a, normally a hero could. Um, we'll go over that, I guess, when it occurs, how vanquishing works. But Foreshadowing. If, you, if, you're, if, you're, if you're familiar with Disney Villainous, you'll know quite well what that means. So Since you brought it up, I might as well just hop on over there. Okay. And I'm going to play this cool card. It's called Training Academy. It's an item, but it's basically, it gives a plus strength one strength token to each ally at this location when you vanquish one of your heroes or one of your allies. And then also, my ally doesn't get discarded, the training academy does. Yep, so normally so when you take a vanquish action I to... I will pay my one for my training academy. Yep, so normally when you take a vanquish action to win, you have to have more strength equal to or more strength than your opponent. Well, Crossbones has three strength, the Legion of Thanos only has two, so she's got that down. And then once you vanquish, normally... All the cards you use to vanquish the hero or the ally would get discarded along with that hero or ally being discarded as well. That training academy, though, is going to allow her to vanquish, and strengthen Crossbones, right. and not have to discard him. So, let's go ahead and do that. And yep. <laughs> so now she's going to take the vanquish action, which looks like that right there on her board. Um, and when you vanquish, you can actually vanquish at any area in your, your domain. It doesn't have to be at the location you're at. It just happens that that, that worked out that way. Yep. So, Training Academy is going to get discarded. Legion of Thanos gets discarded. And I add a plus one to crossbones. Yep. And now, as you can see, that cleared up two actions on her board. She can now take those actions. They, I she's free to. Take my power and fate you. Yep. So, the last action here that she can take is fate. It looks like a cloud with a lightning bolt going through it. Well, are you what, ready? What she's going to do there is draw the top card of the fate deck and play it against me. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. It's a pretty good one. Okay. It's Adam Warlock. Oh, no. Thanos cannot win this game if Adam Warlock is in your domain. Yep. Great. Where, where would you like to put him? So Emily gets to choose which location he goes to in my domain. Let's see. Power is really important. So is fating me. I'm going to go you can't play or fate. Let's go into Titan. Okay. All right, um, anything else? I'm, that's the last action, yep, right? Yep, that's my last. All right, uh, Thanos is going to wander back over to the Infinity Well. He's not too happy with how this is going so far. <laughs> He's going to gain his three power. Um, and then I can play two cards if I'd like. I am going to play one card to start. Yes, I want to play Corvus Glaive. So that costs three, and he is an ally. And his special ability is when I relocate him to another player's domain, a Legion of Thanos can relocate with him. Um, I don't have any Legion of Thanos, though, because they all died. <laughs> so I'm just going to put him at nowhere for now. I can discard cards if I like, but I really like all the cards I have in my hand. And I could play another card because I have that action, but I only have one power, and Thanos' cards are not that cheap. So I will draw back up, and that'll be the end of my turn. All right, I will go over to the training room and grab my three power... And then I get to play two cards. So I'm going to play Trainees, which is an ally. They're just the new guys. But also, again, if I do fight a hero or one of your allies, they're the first to go. And my stronger ally does not. Yeah, get she can just remove the, the trainee so instead of the stronger ally. I'm going to pay for that trainee. And then I'm going to do my second play. And I've just I've been on a hiring streak. I've got more trainees. Wow. So <laughs> I'm going to put my other trainee over there. And then I can discard, and I am going to discard one. And then I'm done with my turn. 
Alrighty, Thanos is gonna war. Okay, I'm gonna head over here. Um, this, yeah, this location has four actions. The first one I'm gonna play or use is uh, play a card. So I'm gonna play the Legion of Thanos for one. That's just an ally. Um, then I'm gonna actually take my fate action first to see if I get lucky here. Oh, found by the Avengers. Choose an ally controlled by the targeted villain, that's you. <laughs> then choose any hero in any domain and remove both characters. Oh no! So I'm gonna choose Adam Warlock and Crossbones. You don't want to choose Crossbones? What? No, what? You don't want to choose Adam, Crossbones. Adam, but Crossbones does have a cool effect. He oh, can yeah. be played from the discard pile, like it's like uh, he's in her hand. So yeah. once he she gets two uh, money back, she can bring him back out. Unfortunately, he does not have that strength anymore, but. Um, so I've, I've defeated Crossbones, so now the Infinity Stone just stays in Emily's domain. She cannot pick it back up with another character, um, and if, as soon as I get one of my characters to that location, they just automatically grab it. Um, so I've faded her. Uh, next thing I have is actually a relocate action on this, so I'm going to go ahead and relocate over here. And I'm going to bring the, the Legion of Thanos with me just in case, but I'm going to attach the uh, Space Stone to Corvus Glaive here. So he'll have that, and well, let's move these up even more. There we go. And the Legion of Thanos will be hanging out with him too. Uh, that's, I can vanquish. I don't have anything I can vanquish though. I was preparing to fight Crossbones, but I mean, the Avengers came and saved the day oh, for yeah. me. <laughs> Bye, Adam Warlock. So I'm just going to end my turn and draw back up to four. Goodbye, Adam Warlock. Wahaha. I guess I will come over here and grab my two power. And then I'm going to play. I might as well play Crossbones back out and put him back where he wanted to be. Oh boy. Um, and then I can relocate something. And I might as well relocate my training dummy. Um, because then I get uh, activate as my last action. So I'm going to activate the training dummy and raise crossbolts back up. And then I'm done. Okay and I don't dokey. have to draw back up because I played crossbones. Alrighty. I am going to... Ooh, I don't have another relocate. I really need to get that stone back here because that lets me relocate as many of my allies as I want once I get that stone. Oh, that is a relocate there. You're right, I could. Oops. Mm. Nope, nope, nope. I think I'm going to let him hang. Oh, then you could vanquish him, though. No, well, he's the same strength. Yeah, I got to get him out of there. All right, you got to come home, Corvus Glaive. So the first thing I'm going to do is relocate him here. When he returns, I automatically get to take the stone. And so this is what it looks like on that side. It's an item. When it comes back to mine, it becomes a specialty. So specialty cards are something new for uh, Marvel Villainous. And there's a specialty slot on your board that you actually get to put them in. So this card's just going to go right here. Um, and normally you can only have one specialty out at a time, unless it says you can have more, um, which Thanos can. So I can actually get six stones out here, giving their effects. So on this side, it is a specialty, and it just gives me this activate ability that I can use on my turn, which allows me to relocate any number of my allies, which is super good for me. Um, the Legion of Thanos doesn't get to go home, though because he can only take them with him when he's going to another player's domain, not returning. Um, so that was my move. I can take my fate action now, I guess. Uh-oh. It is the Scarlet Spider Clone. So Scarlet Spider Clone is a hero, whoop, is a hero as you can see there. Uh, and their special ability is when they come out, you actually find the other two Scarlet Spider Clones and put them at the same location, which is super annoying because they're weak, um, but... Take up half the they, 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 well, they, they can only cover one spot at a time, but you have to vanquish three times, which could be good for Emily because she has things that let her discard when she vanquishes, and it'll quickly allow her to strengthen up her enemies, or her allies, not enemies, which stinks for me. But I have to put them somewhere, so these three spider clones are going to go to uh, the training room. All right, so I can gain one power. And I could play a card, but I don't have any cards I can play for one power, so I will end my turn. Okay, I'm going to come over here. 
Here. Okay. And I'll just grab it. Oh no, I don't get any. You don't um, get power I there. Hit no. you, though, okay, first. yes. Scott Lang. All allies at Scott Lang's location lose one strength. Oh. That doesn't help me a lot right now. I can weaken Corvus Glaive, but you're gonna put him there? Yeah, just cover up my relocate. Yeah, yeah. that's that's a good idea. Relocating is super important for me, okay. so. So, and then I get to play a card. And, do, 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 for two, I am going to play Death Shield, which, like you had mentioned, is one of the cool traits where Death Shield gains a strength for each hero at this location. And I've got three oh, heroes. Oh, wow. So, I will need three power, which puts Death Shield at six. Yeah, so that's one of the four she needs to, at over five strength. Whoop, whoop. Um, and then I get uh, activate, so I'm going to use that activate to activate my training dummy over here. And I'm going to put crossbones, so now I've got two allies at two locations with five strength. So I am halfway there, baby. You are. And I could discard. And I, th I think I am going to discard one. And uh, drop back up. And it's okay. your turn. All right. I'm going to move over here to the Infinity Well and get my three power. And I can play two cards. Mm. The first card I'm going to play costs two. And it is Consult the Well, which is going to give Emily another Infinity Stone here. I hope it's a good one. There you are. Now, she has to attach, because she has allies out, she has to attach it to one of her allies that are currently out on the board. I've got the Mind Stone, which is find any card in your deck and add it to your hand when you wow. use the Activate. So I'm going to put him on a trainee, That's a... I don't want you coming for one of my right. established allies. So, use um, it to, to trainee slot one. So the last part of this card says, once played, you may relocate an ally to that location. I am going to relocate... Corvus Glaive, because when he relocates to another player's domain, you may also relocate a Legion of Thanos to that location. So Legion of Thanos is going to come over there with me. Um, and then that card is done. I want to pay two to play a second card, which is Death's Favor. I want to put that on the Infinity Well, and this is an item that will be at that location. And the artwork's amazing. I love that. Um, this is based off the comic books as well, not the movie, so that's why Death is in this. Um, so Death's Favor says you may choose to perform an activate or vanquish action when you move to this location. Uh, location may not hold more than one copy of Death's Favor. So I didn't move here, unfortunately, right now, but well, actually I might put it somewhere else then. Well, vanquish, activate. No, I'll put it here. Um, so I didn't move here, so I can't take that action right now, but it will be prepared for a later uh, turn. Uh, the last thing I can do is discard cards. I don't want to discard either of these cards though, so I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. Okay, back to you. I'm going to go over here and give me three power. Okay. And then I'm going to play um, Taskmaster Shield. It's an item and it's when an ally, so Death Shield in this case, would be defeated or removed, I take the shield instead. Ooh, so good idea. Oh, and it's free! Huh. Yeah. It's my favorite kind of purchase. Yeah, you just drop your shield there. But thank you, Scare the Spider Clones. I am out of moves on this turn, so I'll drop, and it's you. Okay. Oh, Scott Lang's messing up my plans here. Okay, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to gain my two power at Sanctuary 2. It allows me to play a card. So what I'm going to do is play Taste of Cosmic Power, which costs two. And this is a great effect for Thanos right here. So essentially what it does is he powers up one of his allies by giving them a plus one strength token. So I'm going to give this to Corvus Glaive. <clears throat> that ally may then immediately vanquish a character at that location with equal or lesser strength. So I'm going to vanquish the trainees. And my ally is not discarded because of the vanquish action. So Corvus Glaive is going to... Uh, vanquish the trainees. So Corvus Glaive guys. doesn't get discarded because of the card, and he gets to collect the Mind Stone. Um, so I'll put that on him. 
Okay, so I have taken my two power, I've played a card, I'm then going to activate the Space Stone. The Space Stone says you may relocate any number of your allies. So, I'm going to move the Legion of Thanos over here, just because I have a feeling that's where the next Infinity Stone may go. Maybe not. Maybe you won't put him there, because my Legion's there. And then Corvus Clay is going to come home to... to uh, let's go nowhere, just in case I want to fight Scott Lang. And I get the second stone, uh, the Mind Stone, that I get to put into my Gauntlet. And this one, uh, if I activate it, lets me find any card in my deck and add it to my hand. So that is great for making plans and following through on them. Uh, last action I can take is discarding cards. I'm going to actually discard this Leech of Thanos. I don't think I need them right now. I'm doing alright with uh, Corvus Glaive. Alright, it's back to you. Nope. <sighs> I'm going to come over here. Give me to power. I'm going to play... Play Blood Spider. Okay. For two. And this is a when Blood Spider is played, you may relocate a hero from any location to his location. Okay. But I couldn't move all three of them, right? It would just be one of them. Just one of them, yeah. So um, I'm gonna go and not block that half and not choose to use that. Okay. Um, and let's say you may. That's why right. she doesn't have to. Yep. And then I am going to use my relocate to relocate my training dummy. Okay. And then I'm going to use my activate to activate my training dummy and put one strength on Blood Spider. There you are. Good turn. And I'm done. Alrighty. I'm going to return here. Do I want to take the Vanquish action or I can activate? Hmm. Hmm. So because Death's Favor is here, when I move to that location, I can form an activate or vanquish. I actually think I'm going to take a activate action and look use the mind stone to find any card in my deck and add it to my hand. I know who I am looking for. I just need to find them. Do, 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 do. Oh, of course they're the top next card I would have drawn anyways. <laughs> I won't say karma or anything. But. So I found I hunted for Proxima Midnight. Another child of Thanos that's going to go find out some stones for me. Alright, so I've moved there. I've taken that action. I will take my three power. And now I can play two cards because I'm at the Infinity Well. Um, I'm going to play Consult the Well for two. And that is going to allow me to choose another player, Emily, to take another Infinity Stone! I gotta be careful, one of these Infinity Stone Infinity Stones allows you to buff, like, strengthen your characters if she gets that one. It's not this one. This is the Time Stone. So I, you, with each activate, you gain one power and draw one villain card. Oh, wow. So you get to gain a power and draw an extra card when you activate it. That's pretty good. So I'm going to attach this to, uh, spoiler alert, these poor little trainees. Alright. Um, and then, uh, once I did that, once played, I may relocate an ally to that location. Do I want to send Corvus Glaive? I do want to send Corvus Glaive. So let's go hang out, Corvus. Move these up here. So now I got my Legion of Thanos and Corvus. Um, so that's that action. I can play another card, or I can discard. Um... What level are... They're only rank one, aren't they? Yep. All right, I want to play a second card. This one is an effect. It has a question mark cost. Um, so the reason it's a question mark is because choose a character you did not control in the same location as one of your allies, the trainees. Defeat that character. The cost to play the Mad Titan card is equal to the strength of the defeated character. Ah. One cost, one power. Oh. So they get defeated because of the Mad Titan card, so they go away. And... I'm going to grab that stone with Corvus Glaive here again. Whoops, I don't know why I flipped it over. There we go. And hopefully he can make it back to... Uh... I don't think it used that thing at all. No, 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 no. That's the goal. Do not let them use your stones if you can. Fleeting power. I'll draw back up to four and that'll be it. Okie doke. I'm going to come over here. Well, um, particular 
massively need more power. So I guess I'll come here. Just give me more power. I will hate you. Ooh, okay. What did it cost? The targeted villain, that's you, must discard one card from their hand for each infinity stone that they control, up to the total number of cards in their hand. So that would be a, a half, <sighs> half your deck of my working on? Yep. Half my hand gets discarded. So, that is a fate effect. Alright, so I'm going to discard another Death's Favor that I was hoping to play, and Black Dwarf, who is my strongest ally. Kind so, like um... And I will not get to draw up until the end of my next turn, so I have to play next turn with only two cards. And then I'm going to play... I'm gonna... He's protected. I've got two unprotected fellas. So I'm going to... play... Uh, another trainee. <laughs> wow. But, but hey, that, yeah, some that's for great. Crossbones, you know. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, um, and then I do have the option of anguish. Uh, I choose not to. Okay. Yeah, you don't so, ever have to take an action if you don't want to. It's you. All right. Uh, I'm gonna hand back over to Sanctuary Two. That's gonna give me two power. Um, I can activate a car or activate. Um. Uh, so. Find any card in your Okay. I think I'm going to use it to relocate any number of my allies. I'm going to bring Corvus Glaive back home again, which is going to give me the third Infinity Stone, the Time Stone, which now gives me that same ability to, that Emily had to gain one power and draw uh, one villain card. Um, then I can play a card still. I'm going to do that. I want to pay two to play Proxima Midnight here and it says when she is played defeat a character with strength three or less at her location scott lang's only two strength well look at that goodbye scott thanks for stopping out um i can discard if i'd like but i want to keep this card so i'm going to draw back up to four and end my turn i'm going over here i'm taking two power i'm going to play Jagged Bow. Ooh. Um, this does this involves events, which we're not playing, but it does say that once I play or relocate him, that I could relocate or play a second ally to the same event. We're not doing events, so right. he's just gonna have to be a cool standalone guy. So that's my for power. free too. That's uh, yeah. like yeah, but <clears throat> that's my power. That's my play. I'd like to activate my training dummy. Okay, there you so go. So now Blood Spider's up. So she has three of the four villains and needed. And then I'm going to relocate this oh to my gosh. Jagged Bow. And I am done with my turn. It only is two activations away from winning. Woo. 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 All right. I got to put a stop to that somehow. No, no, no. You don't. I'm going to come here. And my best way for Thanos to stop that is to give her an Infinity Stone and then crush her. You think of that. <laughs> I think that, but it could backfire on me. It could. So the first thing I get to do is gain three power here. And then I'm going to play Consult the Well, which lets me choose another player. That player takes a random Infinity Stone. There's only three left. It is the Soul Stone. Play an ally for free from your discard pile. Oh no, I'm her trainee. I'm going to to this trainee. Okay, the trainee's got it. All right, I may relocate an ally to that location. All right, come on, Corvus Glaive, you're coming back. <laughs> You're my man. He can move these legions of Thanos with him, and that's just that's just the power oh, I need. Yeah. Um, I can play. Okay, so that card's done. I can play a second card. I actually have one here that I have not played before. It's called a small price to pay. I gain. It's an effect, so it's just, it just happens once. I gain one power, plus one additional power for every other villain who controls an Infinity Stone. So, really, that's only two power. Oh, I forgot to pay the two power for my last card. So that's one power, and then one power because you control an Infinity Stone, so I'll get two power back. Um, in a higher player count game, that could be really, really good. Um, but unless well, it's not great to have Infinity Stones all over the place either. So uh, so that's played my two cards. I gain my three power. I can discard. 
Oh, why did I play that card? That was silly of me. No takes two backs. I Thanos. know, I know. I'm going to discard Legion of Thanos. I don't think I need them yet, still. And I'm going to draw back up to four and end my turn. Okay, I'm going to come over here. And then I'm going to fate you first, just for just for fun. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Drax the Destroyer. No! At least two allies must be used to defeat Drax the Destroyer oh, with a vanquish Drax. action. All right. So it doesn't particularly... Right there. Yeah, Why? I forgot to use my death's favor last turn too. Jeez, that would have helped me. Oh well. So Oh yeah, you can activate and play a ally from your discard pile for free, huh? I can. And I was thinking I might have had one that would have got me up, but I don't. Um I guess I will still. Mm. Or you can make him I stronger, know. yeah. I guess I will. I'm thinking of the. Ready for it? Hmm. End game. Ha! End ha. game. I'm gonna activate my training dummy and put a strength on Jagged Bow. There you go. I faded you. I've activated. I haven't played yet. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to play <laughs> Oh no. What? I'm going to play Taskmaster Sword, which is all of Taskmaster's allies gain one strength while at the same location, which would put him also up to 5. And you win the game immediately. And I Thanos. That's right. Wow. Oh, oh I was just <laughs> building my power. Wow. Holy cow. Good job. And that is Marvel Villainous Infinite Power. Um, it's it's if you if you play Disney Villainous, as you can see here, and just this playthrough, it's a lot more confrontational than than Villainous is. You instead of only being able to play Fate cards, having Thanos come to your domain and jack up your allies is not great. So I could have, next turn, attempted to vanquish Crossbones with Corvus Glaive, um, oh, stopping that. that. But, I mean, your trainees were there too, so it wouldn't that's have helped true. me, right? So, yeah. Um, yeah, that, that is it, though. So that's that's uh, essentially the game. Um, what would you think of it? I mean, this was my favorite round yet. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, it is fun. It's very confrontational, but you have a lot of options on what to do. Yeah, and then the more you play, the more you learn your deck and know what you need to get quicker, right. which is the same with Disney Villains as well. But again, the villain guys do kind of help you say, like, oh, if you need to get the Infinity Stones out, you need to find Consult the Well. Like, right. they tell you what to kind of look for in your deck anyways, uh, which is great that they include that. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about the playthrough or about the game in, in, at all or want to see some more of the villains... Um, we do stream on Twitch every Tuesday night. You can drop by at 7.30 p.m. Eastern and ask there, or drop them in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like and share and subscribe to the channel, especially if you made it this far. Um, but until next time, that's going to be it for our playthrough. Uh, my name's Joe. I'm Emily. And you've been watching Down the Vent. Bye!